All right, my friends, today's vlog starts from my condo because the action where I live starts from the footsteps of my condo. So it's almost sunset time. It's the best time to vlog. We're gonna make a vlog and show you why do I live here in Bangkok. It will be a very interesting vlog. There are lots of things you will see and like. So let's start it right now. So as I said, my friends, it's almost sunset time and it's the best time to vlog in Bangkok because at daytime, it's very hot. So it's almost 6 p.m. in the evening and it's Saturday. So the action is double today. It's weekend. It's a very dense soy and it's very crowded. You have to be very careful while you are walking. As you see, there are lots of shops around. And if you are staying here, you don't need to go outside because you can find anything you want here from food. If you want to enjoy some massage sessions, as you see, and street food is almost everywhere. It's a very local soy in Prakanung area and usually it gets busy in the afternoon. So let's walk and show you around what are the things that you can enjoy at this soy before we go and show you other things in this area and you're gonna have an idea about why I love to live in this area and what are the privileges that I enjoy while I'm staying here. The only negative thing in this street is that it's very narrow and there are no sidewalks as I said and you have to be very careful while you are walking but if you get used to it you will survive. That's the only downside of this soy but other than that everything is perfect. If you are wandering at night time it's busy and you cannot sleep Trust me, at night time, it's a very calm street. The action ends once the shops close and the beer bars, they are not noisy, especially nowadays. There are no alcohol after nine. So at the corner of the soy, you have pharmacy. As I said, you have everything in this soy. And this is soy too that we were exploring. And now let me show you, this is the main street of Sukhumvit 71. And now we are going towards the BTS to show you other places in this area and you will see why it's great to stay in Bangkok and especially in Prakanung. Now this is the parallel street of the BTS as you see that's the BTS and we are walking towards BTS on Nut as Prakanung is one station before on Nut and along the way here you can find lots of shops that are very old-fashioned style you will see now why I'm telling you that you can find very stuffed items a lot of variety of things they have nothing to do underwears and after that electronics socks watches and as i said they are stuffed and very old-fashioned way and so cheap electronics next to the underwears and after that you have a pharmacy so they have used every corner to display their items and this is one of the characteristics of a prakanung area uh, you will not see this in Onnut or in Lower Sukhumvit. Uh, Prakanung is very special by very dense shopping and items. So we are still walking parallel to the BTS and it's almost sunset time. And this is the best time to show you around because the action starts, everybody is coming back from their works and some are buying foods, other shopping and I am sure you are enjoying these lively pictures from Bangkok and exactly from Prakanung 
area in Sukhumvit. Now we are going to enter our second stop, which is the fresh market. That's the second privilege or why I live in this area. I love this street. You can find anything here, food, fruits, meat, fish, with very affordable prices. So let's go inside and show you around. So this is one of the famous soys in this area and it's very popular. Oh my God, another motorbike. It's very popular for food and fruits. As you see fellas, wherever you go, uh, motorbikes will follow you. If you close your eyes just one second and you're at the hospital. Look at that. The fruits are well displayed. Well, the fruits are well displayed and the items that they are selling at the main street are so bizarre. So this is one of the famous soys in this area. And as you see, you can enter from the main street parallel to the BTS. So let's show you around. It's not only fruits, but as I said, I am trying to be very careful Every time I want to start talking, another motorbike. Another motorbike. Watermelons, bananas, and coconuts. What else? You are in Thailand, exotic fruits. Uh, let us go to the right and show you here the action. So, I hope you are enjoying this fresh market our second stop of today and as I said this vlog is about why I love to live here in Bangkok I used to live in Onnut which is one station away it's also a very nice place to stay but Prakanong is more more local more action too much shopping so we're gonna try to talk a little bit calm so that people won't freak out from our vlogging <laughs> all right another motorbike I'm thinking of buying a motorbike and vlogging on the motorbike so this one is shopping with the motorbike I think if there won't be a good rule in Thailand they should forbid motorbikes to enter markets at least I'm not telling all the soys but the markets So as I said, besides the fruits, you can find anything, vegetables, meats, fresh market. So this market opens all the day and you can come and shop anytime. But this is, but this is one of the hours that this market is lively because people are coming back from their works, they are shopping. And I'm trying to show you as much as I can. And I hope you are enjoying. This is one of the old valleys in Prakanung area. And as I said, we are trying to talk calm so that people won't freak out. If you are a vlogger, you know what I'm talking about. You're holding a camera, putting a microphone and walking around. So, this is it. So far, so good, so beautiful, a local action. And this is one of the famous fresh markets in Prakanung area. You don't have to go to the supermarket. You can find anything here. But as I said, the best time to come is after sunset because it's better to shop. Of course, it's much more busier, but at daytime, it's super hot here. Now here you have live fish. And lots of people are enjoying shopping in this area now 
we are walking back to the right side because the market is so huge so as you see also along the way those are old apartment here people maybe the vendors live here you have to be very careful while you are walking not only the motorbikes look at this you can fall you have to watch your steps this is Thailand fellas it's really nice to enjoy Thailand but you have to use 360 degrees your eyes unless you will end up I don't know if not in a hospital but you will crash into something so we are walking now back the market is so huge but it's really nice if you are in this area to come and explore this area I hope you are enjoying so if you are wondering where we are we are in Prakanung area and next to Sukhumvit 71 there are everything here even clothing not only fresh market so we are not going to continue all the market I hope you had an idea about this place now let's go out from this narrow valleys and I'm gonna show you another place which is also interesting in Prakonong area so the first stop was at the footsteps of my condo Soy 2 this is the second stop the fresh market and now when we are out of this place I'm gonna show you another place that is very interesting look at here guys we have uh, hairdressers next to the fresh market this is the beauty of Bangkok you can find anything everywhere and people don't care about the class you want to cut your hairs I'm gonna show you anyway something now more interesting about this topic but if you want to do anything it doesn't matter wherever it is as long as you're getting the service so we are trying to go back to the main street and from there I'm gonna show you another interesting place in this area so my friends that was the second stop of today and as you see sorry for the noise and as you see it's a really nice fresh market you can find anything in it and if you are here at this area even as a tourist come and see it's a really a really nice place but beware of motorbikes and your footsteps as I said now we are heading to the third stop and here I want to show you something very interesting stay with me so as you know today's vlog is about why do I love to live here in Bangkok until now what do you think guys is it good to live here or it's so noisy and crowded let me know your comments and what did you love in this area so this is the bridge that separates after that the canal the water canal separates Prakanum from Onnut and I'm gonna show you here this is the amazing thing that under the bridge there are shops they have used the spaces under the bridge to make their businesses I'm gonna show you this is the bridge and under the bridge you have barber shops tailors this is what I was telling to you that it doesn't matter wherever you are you can shave your bread cut your hairs under the bridge or maybe look at that you can make some gym I love Bangkok this is Bangkok Bangkok is not Siam Bangkok is not the classy places that are very classy and but this is real Bangkok this is the real life in Bangkok crowded local people doing their businesses under the bridge if you want to cut your hair 
and also fruits fruits are everywhere food are everywhere in Bangkok wherever you go so this is the bridge that separates Prakanung from Onnut area and from here you can go to Ramafor and uh, Serena Green Dara area sorry if I pronounce that right or wrong my Thai friends are not with me now but another shop a tailor shop under the bridge and let me give you a general idea about this place this is under the bridge and those are making their businesses under the sky train and the bridge I'm gonna end this vlog on the canal that separates Prakanung from Onnut so this is a canal here you can take a boat all right you can take a boat and they can take you a boat taxi as you know but these are private boat taxis so this is the canal that separates Prakanung from Onnut we are going on the bridge and show you a little bit around before we end up this interesting vlog I hope you liked it and you had an idea about where I live why I do and why I love to live here so it was so crowded too many motorbikes we survived we are here in one piece and this is the bridge and that's the sky train and we are now standing between Prakanung and Onnut area so my friends now we are going back down from the bridge I hope you like this vlog that was a general idea about why do I stay here and what are the privileges that I enjoy although it's too much crowded but it's too lively I love the action the only thing that you have to be very careful from the traffic motorbikes so of course we are going to do other reviews about other places in Bangkok but this was in Prakanung where do I stay I hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more from live love Thailand